What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Goose Bear. How y'all doing? Yeah, that's right. If it's your first time tuning in, this is a weekly podcast that we do. We talk about pretty much all stuff, manhood, fatherhood, husbandhood, if that's a word. Yeah, uh, it is. It's a <laughs> it's word. It's a word now. <laughs> um, anyway, this is from, coming from my point of view... Uh, Two black men, we doing our thing, we making things happen, trying to make things happen, about to make things happen. Make it things anyway, shake. if you got any questions, you know, if you got questions about one of those categories of manhood, fatherhood, black men or whatever, brothers, uncles, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. ask us, let us tell it. Let it come from the horse's mouth. Uh, anyway. Right, chill. If it's your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. Make sure you go ahead right now, like, subscribe, and when you get done watching, share it, because you're going to enjoy it. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit it right now. Hit it. Hit it. We're going to wait. Those up tab, hit it yet. Or something. Thank you. Huh? Hit that little picture, whatever it's called. The tab. That was a tab. I don't I know. say hit the button, but it ain't a button. Whatever it is. Everything on the phone's a button or whatever. And if you listening, <laughs> you can watch this. You can, yeah, watch this on uh YouTube on Tanksley TV, uh called Let Us Tell It. And if you're watching, you can also listen to this across all podcast streaming platforms. Um you wanna start it off with a segment? Uh you don't want to look in your little toxic phone and, <laughs> and find that no. <laughs> your little toxic algorithm. Hold algorithm. on, hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, this ain't a segment, but I just want to share this. A friend of mine is 31 years old, mm-hmm. young male. Uh, his leg, his calf muscle, he said it felt like a Charlie horse, and it, it stayed tight for like – maybe an hour he said but then mm. it slowly released but he could still feel still feel the 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 ho- it felt like a charlie horse he said yeah, it still feel like the it cramp th- the, yeah it still yeah. felt crampy or whatever so he said later on that night the pain woke him up out of sleep so mm. he was like he ran track played football been physical all his life so he was like this ain't a sore muscle or a pull muscle this yeah, is something else weird, yeah 31 healthy this man went to the doctor he in there right now he in the hospital right now he's also posted this on instagram that's how i figured it out um blood clot in his leg I was gonna say, it and like several it. blood clots in his lungs already that's uh what's that called i had a neighbor that went through that yeah he had to be on oxygen for like a week he go ahead i didn't mean to interrupt you go ahead uh I can't remember. It's a term for that. I can't remember what yeah, it's called. I just called. see this man he said, "Don't go ahead." Then he start. Then he man, just talking. hurry up and finish talking. Come on, man. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a segment, but get check yourself out. Um, I checked my knee out because my knee was having pain, and I had some missing cartilage in it. But I still have this little um, strain in my calf, so I don't know what that is. And I'm going to see if I got some blood clots. But they did a uh, CAT scan mm-hmm. or whatever. Is this, CT uh, or CAT, yeah. CAT? I don't know, one of them. Yeah, one of those scans. Yeah. But they got, like, all these stroke, these um, images. Uh, I guess they probably do give him the image, but it's like all these tabs all over his body. They probably show the image of his lungs, maybe. Oh, he didn't have to get in the machine? He got in the machine. That's what he said, too. So he was the, like, I he think- felt claustrophobic. Yeah, I don't know. I know somebody's gonna correct. A thousand people gonna correct me. I think the machine that you get in is a MRI. Scan. MRI. Yeah. MRI. Yeah. And the CAT scan and CT. I don't know. I think the CAT scan is the big magnet that you get in. I don't know. That's the MRI. That's okay. the that's still that. But I think a CAT scan is of the head. Maybe. Anyway, you're right. You could be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't can, know. We got the. We already right said here. it. We don't know. Anyway, they found stuff in his lungs, clots in his lungs, clots in both of his legs. But this one in particular is like serious. Mm -hmm. So he's, they say for two days, he's going to be there. Um, They're going to be thinning out his blood to get rid of the clots. So you feel something going on, something off, and you know if it's off. You know what I'm saying? I know when I'm sore from lifting weights or doing anything. Mm -hmm. Um, If you feel off, go, go to the hospital, get yourself checked out. Yeah, no, nah, that's terrifying. Oh, um, uh, yeah. There, I had a neighbor. He had something similar, and he it was one day he couldn't breathe. He had trouble breathing. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, he ended up going into the uh, doctors and they checked him out, but they didn't find anything. So he went home, I guess a couple of days later, he said, cause I hadn't heard, seen him in a while. Like usually he would leave, in my backyard, he was like cat corner. So he lived on a different street, mm -hmm. but he was like cat corner. Every now and then we would kind of see like top of each other's heads and go around and talk. And I hadn't seen him, it'd probably been a couple of weeks. And finally one day I was like, man, cause he, he got old school cars and stuff too. This is a, uh, our first house. So I walked around there, you know, knocked on the door, and he came and had an oxygen tank with him. I'm look, I'm like, Dang. hey, what's going on? Long story short, he went to the doctor because he, uh, he he thought it was a heat, uh, not heat stroke, but heat. Uh, it's two different ones. I know because I'm supposed to be CPR certified. I can't remember that stuff because it's been a while. You got a heat stroke and heat. The lesser of the, it's not the stroke, exhaustion, but the other one. Exhaustion. Heat exhaustion, maybe so. Anyway, mm -hmm. so he ended up going to the doctor. They said everything was cool. He was getting in the shower one day, and he pay, he just he just remember fainting. Like, he said he, like, just blacked out. Woke up in the hospital. Basically, this man died on the floor, on the Ooh. bathroom floor. Like, defecated and everything. No, I'm sorry. He woke. He woke up. His son woke him up, and the uh, paramedics were there. And he said he's all embarrassed because he's looking like what happened or whatever. Yeah. He said, you know, I didn't play football. Like it's an older man. He's a little yeah, older. Yeah. Did all this stuff all my life. What are you talking about? What's wrong with me? I, and that same thing. He had blood clots all through his lungs. Um, oh, came man. out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and I cannot remember exactly what it's called, but it's an actual condition that I don't know if it comes randomly or it takes time to build up. But uh, definitely get checked out, people. Like, if you got something going, even if ain't nothing going on, if you ain't been to the doctors in a while, go. Go and get checked out. Go go get yourself looked at. Any questions you got, go ahead and ask them. Uh, that's one thing, being uh, especially a man, but a black man, coming up our community, I don't go no doctors. Like, that's oh, the dumbest yeah. phrase I've ever heard. Yeah. Like, go to the goddamn doctor uh, and get checked out. Especially, don't be ignoring pains at no age. Yeah. This man, how old is he? 30s? 31. 31. He young. Just turned 31. He, I know people once they hit 30, oh, I'm getting old. You are young at 30. Yeah. You are still very young at 30. Don't be ignoring no pains and stuff. Like I said, I do when I'm working out, sore muscles and stuff. I don't mm -hmm. do nothing. But if it's just a random pain, something abnormal, that abnormal like that, yeah, go definitely go get that <clears> checked <throat> out. The uh, What I've been looking at is uh, the difference between a CT scan and an MRI. So the CT scan uses radiation, x-rays, and the MRI doesn't. But other than that, they're basically yeah. the same thing. Yeah, the MRI uses, uh, ain't it magnetic, like all magnetic and stuff? I know I had to get in the tube for. Uh, yeah, it's magnetic. Yeah, I had to get in that tube for my back. I got an MR, MRI for my back, and that's uh, whether they could see everything in detail. I know one is 3D and one's not, because I know there's – anyway, we're going to move on from it. Get checked get, out, yeah, folks. Yeah, get checked out. Don't um, play games with yourself. Yeah, I know people that's had, like – I always hear that from knee surgeries. Mm. I know people that's gotten – like healthy people that's gotten knee surgeries, and it might be weeks, it might be months, it might be years later from that surgery, like they end up having blood clot issues. Mm. Doctor told me that too. Did he? Mm. Mm. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, get you checked out. But we're going to start. We're going to do another. Um, part two. Part two of, of the Get, get to, to Know, know us. us. We ain't came up with a title yet. Yeah, we started uh, posting these out of order because we had one subject that was current. And we feel like we needed to hurry up and uh, yep. get that episode out before it wasn't. Uh, uh, relevant a trending anymore topic yeah anymore. if it wasn't a relevant trending topic so we getting back to the questions now getting to know us you want to kick it off or yeah you want me to go i i'll start off let's see i did all that talking you ain't ready oh, go yet? ahead man yeah you ready <laughs> My bad. um okay no, we answered that one last time see he got me going out of order no, just, he, he, he just said i wasn't ready Talking All right, me. what do you wish you had more of right now? I wish I had more uh, money. I think it'd be the, everybody's up. common question. <laughs> <laughs> I want more money. I need money. I don't, there ain't nothing else in life right now for me to money. Yeah, I don't want more children. 
Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't want any. Who do you else. wish you had more of? Right now, that's what it's. I wish I had more money or uh, more um, talents that could create money, or yeah, talents that could bring me in money. You know what I'm saying? So, because I could ha- get more money, I can have more money. But once it's gone, do I have the talents to generate more money after that? So mm-hmm. I wish I had more talents. That do you that use could all generate. the talents that you do have? <clears throat> I think I done used them up all already. You ain't used them up. I think they <laughs> <laughs> was it was it gas you ran out. Yeah, hey, I think. <laughs> You only, you only get a you only get to swing a hammer so many times before your well, arm don't do it. Okay, no more. I wish more of. I wish I had more talents, but I also wish I could bring the talents that I do have mm-hmm. out more to generate more income for myself and for my family. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. God dang, use out them, of talents. Use them up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go re up on talents. Um. Yeah, I would have to say, let me see, it would evolve around, of course, which had more wealth mm. right now, like in this moment, like, or wealth, period. I don't know if I, what I have currently would be considered, what I consider wealth, no. Um, yeah, in, in short, I would have to say more wealth mm. uh, because, you know, money comes and goes, but wealth is like at long money. You know what I'm saying? More passive income. Yeah. Generating income. I wish. Yeah. yeah more yeah. passive. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like a a couple of apartment buildings mm-hmm. that paid me rent. Yeah, that'll be. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the ultimate goal of mine too, y'all. I wanna uh, retire on some real apartment estate. real estate. Yeah. Sit back and just let. I don't, you know, ten thousand a month off of just passive income. That's fine for me. But obviously, if if more comes, that's fine too. But to have an apartment complex feed me for until I get don't on cap up out of ten. Oh no, no, no! I'm not capping at ten because I I truly believe an apartment complex could probably take it to 40 50 60 grand and that's just the month. first one yeah that's just see see that's why i'm his friend man he <laughs> keeps elevating me man yeah now you got 40 50 60 of complexes you talking about something different now ah. yeah they bring a whole lot of problems but it'd be okay <laughs> <laughs> folk know i'm coming i'm bringing 50 60 grand in and ain't lift a finger Woo-wee. all right uh that you were done with that one mm-hmm. yeah yeah, get your apartment complex, get you a rent, a, a, a rental, get you some money. Um, I'm over here talking to you and I ain't even looked at uh, this man right here. What did you wish you had less of? <laughs> I'm gonna move on to the next one. <laughs> what do I say? And then you okay. finish looking for your question. Go ahead. Um, I, you know what? I was about to say at this point, I wish I had less uh, taxes to pay right now. But if you have less taxes to pay, that means you have less money coming in. So I will not say that. I wish I had less. Um, what do I have right now that I wish I had less of? Concerns. Nah, give me the concerns too. Worries. I will say worries. I wish I had less worries. Um, and the reason I will say worry, in my opinion, worries is different from concerns because I could be concerned about, like right now, I'm trying to upload this uh, one of the episodes, uh, the audio to one of the episodes. That's like a concern, like, oh, what's that? I ain't really worried about it. It's just like, huh, what's going on with that? And these words might be the same, but in my head, they mean something different. I will say worries as in um, just as being. Uh, a black man being a father being a husband being a son being a brother uh even being a, a friend that some people rely on uh that a lot some things worry me yeah i think about things and it's like mm-hmm. i'm always thinking two three steps ahead in some situations yeah, even w- with simple stuff like kids getting on the bus oh. and i'm thinking what all right now is that that bus break down or you know california's crazy they they <laughs> On their way to school, it's like that's a long ass ride. That's a lot of anxiety. 
I, it ain't exactly. Anxi- I'm not anxious about it. I, it's just like in the back of my head. It's like uh-huh. when my kids are at school, I, I frequently think of one of there's a massive earthquake and I got to get to them. Mm. Like, what's the best route for me to get to them? Like, we already have a plan for disasters and emergencies and stuff like that, like a family plan. Like, kids mm-hmm. know what to do. Angel know what to do, depending on where she at. I know what to do. But it's my that's my way of staying ready. So if something goes down, I don't have to get ready. So that's uh, that stuff. I Because I think like that on a, like a large scale, mm-hmm. like I don't like just focus on that. It's just like, oh, this, all right. Got that figured out. What about the next thing? What about the next thing? So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to talk to somebody about that. I wouldn't you consider it work. Should. The thing is, I, I'm, I'm not anxious about anything. It like don't like work me up. It just it just isn't in the back of my mind. Hmm. Yeah, you should probably get that checked out too, man. I don't uh, think I need to. Kids getting on the school bus. It, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. Like you worried I'm not about anxious. the zombie apocalypse. Not a, that's something you would worry about. <laughs> Now you hear about that one man down in Miami. Uh, he was chewing at his arm like goose. Stop this man. He kids um, get on the bus. No, nah, I'm like, not. I'm not anxious about any of it. What's that movie where the uh, brakes went out? Went out on no the brakes. Yeah, the brakes went out on the bus, and if it uh, dropped below a certain speed, the bus was gonna blow up. I oh, think that was, it was speed. A, it was oh, called speed, speed yeah. yeah. So that's the type of stuff you thinking. No. no. See, you took oh. it to a whole different level. <laughs> <laughs> you took it. You took it to like terrorism or something. I'm just <laughs> That was a man that, that that was holding them hostage. He put yeah. a bomb on the bus, man. <laughs> that's true. That, that's true. Now look, let me jump to mine, man. Yeah. What do I wish I had left l- less of? Yeah, did you find your question yet? Yeah. All right. Um uh, I think it might be it's on the same line as yours is doubt um i wish i had less doubt in myself because i Mm. overthink things oh okay like i see it could be i can have an idea and then i'm like oh but what if what what, 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 Mm -hmm. i ain't about to do that you know instead of just trying it out to see if it works i i sabotage myself and not even attempt to do it. i don't even fail at it because I don't even attempt it. I, I work my way up, way up out of doing something before I can even do it. So I wish I had less doubt. Um, mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, because I work things in my head. Uh, and then, yeah. Yeah. Because you, you want to know, matter of fact, people that are really successful, I feel like, are guys and girls that, oh, I like that. Boom. They do it. And if it stick, it stick. If it don't, it don't. And they just move on. Yeah, they just no. they just do it. Yeah. You know? But yeah. The, I wish uh, I what's it, what's it? I just said it recently. Fortune favor fortune favors the brave. Where they just yeah. go in and do it. If it works, it works. If it don't, oh well. Yeah. The next one might. That's see, I don't I don't be thinking like what that. What did Jay Z Jay Z said a good one too. He said, uh so I can't I can't remember the question, but he said, you know, as far as you know, being successful, you only need you only need it to happen once. Like you can try a million times and fail a million times, but mm-hmm. you only need it to work one time. Mm. So just keep at it. Keep at it. Yeah. Okay. Mine is uh, my question is who's your celebrity crush? Oh, I can only pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Do your first one, and then if you got a second one, do it after I t- say right. my celebrity I do, crush. All right, I just do one. Celebrity crush. Um, let me see. I will have to say, it's, it's a few. Uh, I don't even have, like, a number one. Um, I will go and say, no. Um, Lisa Bonet. Lisa Bonet, the oldest daughter on uh, uh, the Cosby Show. Oh, or was that the second the oldest? Y'all know who I'm talking about. You, I know yeah. who you're talking about. She ages. I, I like her. People like her. Somebody like Angela. Bat- they just age so well. Mm. Like only way you can tell Lisa Bonet is age is she got gray, a little bit of gray now. I don't even. Let me look at who she is. Here, I'll look it up. Who's your crush? 
that's I, I was trying to find this lady's name, but y'all remember my crushes? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah she, right. she, she bad. Okay, <laughs> uh, back in the day, D. L. Hughley's. Uh, Hold on, D. L. Okay, the yeah. Hughley's. The Hughley's. His TV show. Yeah, the Mama. Hold on. The mama, yes. his wife that played his on there? His wife that played on there. I'm Hold on. Trying, I don't know her name. Because I don't remember that show like it. Really? Nah. Oh, that's uh, Elise. Elise Neal. Neal, Elise Neal. Yeah, that's a good one. Elise Man. Neal. Elise Neal. Neal Long? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. But hold up. At least Neil. I'm I'm saying I'm, I can go down the list. Look, <laughs> <laughs> at least Neil, man. That show, I was like, well, well, well. Yeah, Let's nah, watch she... the Hughes. With at least Neil. I ain't never know that was her name. You <laughs> it's a crush, you don't even know her name. Nah, I did. Oh uh you Neil know Hughley's wife. You on know. real life now nah, on the show. Which show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the only show she was on? Now nah, she's been on a few shows. Oh, I think she all did of some us? movies too. Yeah, she was yeah. on All of Us. Yeah, I, I like I like uh Elise Neal. But go ahead. You had a you, you, had, who, you have a crossover? A crossover as like, like a, a like a white a white celebrity. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. A, a Caucasian woman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, if I would think about a Caucasian woman, who would I think? I'm gonna go on and pull mine up straight off the bat. Mm. I can't. I can't just. I'm quite sure there's one. Um, I got one. People don't be giving her credit. Yeah. Yeah, Jessica Biel. Jessica Bill, Justin Timberlake's wife. She was a celebrity before. She was already a celebrity. I ain't seen how she aged lately. But back in the day, she was like, I was oh, like, this, this is, white girl right here is. She was always like the Tom Scarlett Boyish. Jo- Tom Boyish. Too. Yeah, Tom yeah, Boyish yeah, girl. yeah. Yeah, she is attractive. Yeah. I ain't know they were married. Yeah. Well, well, so well. that boy done came up. She was in one movie. I was like, "Don't nobody see this natural body sitting right here?" Like, yeah, she, I'm talking nice and curly. Look like she ran track or something. <laughs> yeah, Jessica Biel. Uh, you know what? No, I don't have a crossover. I love Scarlet. my no Scarlet. Everybody I, likes Scarlet. Black I like, Widow. I like um my black and Latin women. Me too. Yeah. I don't got no crossover like this. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Lopez would be my next situation. <laughs> Lie again. You got. <laughs> he, he don't want to say. He got a white girl hey, now. If didn't nobody know. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got no snow bunnies uh, in my clothes. Lie again. <laughs> <laughs> Mel don't be watching this show. You can say. Move it. on. <laughs> Moving on. Next question. <laughs> Hold on. Was it mine next? Yeah, it was yours next. Um, who did I? I know what your answer is going to be. Mine would be the same thing, but mine's a little, I think it depends. Who do you feel most comfortable expressing your feelings to? Expressing my feelings to? Yeah. Mm. My, it depend. it all depends mm-hmm. on what we're talking about. But if, if I had some, I would say my brother's, Mm-hmm. One, and then it would be uh, my partners, my little close knit friends, mm-hmm. and then my wife. Wow! Yeah, and I need therapy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, let me explain. Because no, that's all right. You don't need to explain. We just we I just accept to, that. <laughs> I have to filter. I have to filter my thoughts before no. I. I express them to her because I need to yeah. make sure I express express them correctly. Yeah, I feel because that. Because if I come right out the box with it, then it's going to open a whole nother can of just yeah. blue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got to go to my brother like, man, and he's like, okay, but did you think about that? I'm like, ah, all right. Then I get that. Yeah. I take it to my, my other, my other um, circle of friends. 
And I'm like, man, this is that. And they like, boy, you know what? I'm going through that too. And I thought this, that. I'm like, now, okay. You, yeah, you got a certain group of friends you can do it with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. your boys you can't do. No, no, sir. All my boys. <laughs> the stuff you done told me, I'm boy, like, don't you tell that fool. Let nothing. me tell. <laughs> 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 skill it don't you tell skill it nothing side, boy <laughs> side note side note <laughs> we have a we have a rental house in georgia uh, and we're trying to decide whether to rent the house yeah to you know help help our community out let's rent it to <laughs> us or trying rent to give it back to the community yeah, i want to help somebody out <laughs> but us was a stripper and i'm like there ain't nothing wrong she she got money, blah, blah, blah. Oh, help us out. Yes. I thought you meant us as in like as a people. <laughs> well, yes. Help, oh, oh, help okay. I thought out. I thought us was the name of the strip. It was yeah. like, what well, coming on stage next? <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, it was between her and some uh some, okay, yeah. It, it was between the stripper or the people with with um with regular jobs mm -hmm. i was fine with the stripper but it was the pandemic pandemic was just hitting so we needed somebody with steady income right yeah the strip clubs were shutting down people you know they were shutting stuff down so one of my partners was like boy the strip club shut down but only fans ain't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you know, she probably getting that, getting that work on OnlyFans. Hey, hey, this OnlyFans like, making more money than the uh, the regular. Oh folks. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, but let me not take this business advice from from this here fella. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he's out temporarily. Let yeah. me not. <laughs> uh, but back to the situation, I have to filter my feelings, depending on what it is, through some channels before I present it to my wife. So um, it comes out correctly and um, I don't, you know, stir the pot. How about yourself? Who I don't you? have to say my wife. Mm -hmm. um, Are you saying your wife because you just being politically nah, correct? No, that's, that's who I feel. Oh, okay. She's the reason I open up more now. Oh. Like cool. expressing myself because, you know, I went a long time. One, not knowing how, and then two, not being comfortable. Like, I'm assuming that mm -hmm. was one of the reasons. But, yeah, like, she, so it's easy for me to go to her and and express my feelings. However, if there is, like, feelings like an issue that I'm having with somebody, it comes easy for me to talk to that person. Mm. Like, I can tell Angel, like, you know, it's, you know, Greg did this, 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 and this, but I'm going to feel equally as comfortable coming to you. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. I appreciate what you said about my ears and teeth the other day. You know, I I'm grew sorry. up concerned. You know, I was picked on. <laughs> kind of hurt my feelings, man. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but mainly, like, I feel like, yeah, comfortable going to, if I, it, put it, I'll put it this way. If I don't, if I'm to the point to where I'm not ready to express it to her or talk about it to her, mm -hmm. then I'm probably not going to talk about it to nobody. Mm -hmm. um, Unless it's about her, then I'll bring it to her and I might vent to, like, somebody close that I can trust. Just to vent to let me relieve the steam because like I, I know i can go to people who won't jump on my side out of my they'll be like uh-huh uh-huh yeah. okay <laughs> you, you you done yeah i'm cool now <laughs> <laughs> so i think i can like i said depending on the situation so yes so if it's something if it's something me and my wife are going through yeah, I'm talking like, baby, I don't yeah. think this. I'm coming to her straight yeah. up off rip. But, yeah. but if it's something yeah. that I'm having issues with her or she's done something to irritate me, I have to vent to right. my brother. Usually so my older brother. Headed. Yeah, so yeah. I can come level-headed. Yeah, that makes but, sense, though. But if it's something like I'm feeling depressed or I'm down or, or uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to her. You're going to go to everybody your mama before yeah. your wife has no. said <laughs> Just sad, man. All that women are done for you. Oh, what I tell you. <laughs> Baby, I'm coming to you if it's about something serious. If it's nah. if it's about you and what you done did to me. Yeah. Or make me you done irritated me. I got to go vent, then I come back. Yeah. That's like what I said a couple weeks ago. Is uh No, nah, you said what you said. Shut you up. said uh yeah. on uh oh on me and Angel's podcast, I was saying that, you know, before I speak, a lot of times, similar to you, I have to think about 
every I have to think about what I'm trying to say versus what might come out of my mouth. Because mm-hmm. I could say something that's like, I ain't mean it like it. Yep. But depending on how you say it, how you going to take it back? You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you got to uh, you got to filter it. Sometimes. Oh, it's on you, ain't it? Uh, it is on me. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that you was did. a good one. Oh, uh, what would you be doing if money wasn't a concern? That's the one I was looking at. <laughs> if money wasn't a concern, um. Money would I would just be traveling and opening businesses. The reason I would be traveling is because I like to experience different cultures. Mm. Uh, I like to experience different people. Usually, when we travel out of the country, I'll go to like the little touristy areas, but I'll go. I like to spend my time where the people are. Mm. Like, let me see how y'all actually living over here, because that's where you get all the good experiences from. Um, so uh, that's why I would be traveling. Plus, you know, traveling is just fun. Just take everybody. Everybody will know. We're going to travel in. We're going to need the whole commercial airliner. Ain't no private plane big enough. Yeah. Delta, give me your uh, A380. We're going to fill it up, and everybody's gone. <laughs> you know how you say you're traveling, um, just want to see how other people are living. You know how those people live in the Amazon and – uh-huh. Like those got like they don't have clothes on. Yeah, the they ones. Just, yeah, the ones where yeah society hasn't. They ain't, they ain't been. Uh, uh, what's it called? I was going to say invaded, but basically yeah, they ain't been taint- colonized or anything. They tainted just, by us. yeah, tainted yeah. by society and, uh-huh. and technology. Yeah. Would you Would you do that for a day or two? For a day or two. Yeah. Okay. Then Cause man, take me back to the resort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's too much stuff out there to kill you. Everything man. kill the plants. Animals, the, the, the insects, <laughs> everything will slaughter you. Yes. Everything will. I, my skin ain't calloused enough to survive that, all right? My mama too bright skin for that. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I had to try, nope, y'all can bring them to me. Yeah. And we can try to conversate. No, I do because I like out being outside. I yeah. like being outdoors. I love the outdoors and stuff. I would want to do it for maybe a day. How about the safaris, right? Uh-huh. I've seen safaris and they don't have like the cage. That's stupid. Over the trucks, they're no. just like out in the open. You wouldn't do Give that. Give me the forty-five seventy, the elephant gun, maybe. Yeah. Again, everything out there wants to murder. Yeah. Even the oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> the oxygen will go in your lungs and rip it out and show it to you before Ooh, it kicks you in the face. Man said the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, not man, down. A 500 pound cat? Yeah, I'm not no. down with that either. I'm not really down with the safari. I don't care if the cage is on it. I don't. I No. I, yeah. No, man. I, you would have to, like you said, you would have to equip me with. Yeah, I don't want the dude out there. No, it, it's fine. It's fine. No. If he got No, give me a gun yeah, too. I know I how to shoot. I got to have a gun. <laughs> you multiple, got a blade? Give me a blade. Multiple people on that safari will have to have a gun just in case. <laughs> my blade on my ankle. <laughs> I'm gonna look Man. like SWAT rolling. <laughs> and you got to give me the go. Um, like it's okay for you to kill these animals if they get yeah. get on this. That's uh, probably that's truck. why they don't give probably the tourist guns because they'll just shoot at anything. I now I would I I would in a cage I I would do it like because I do I would like to see an animal especially like a lion leopard jack something in his natural habitat just doing his thing but nah like i would have to inspect the truck like i would act like an animal on the outside and try to get in (laughs) (laughs) pulling the hell out the cage like all right he ain't getting the thing is you only have to be the slowest of the week you don't as long as you're not the slowest of the week is you good (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna be the slowest the senior citizen oh yeah here i'll go i'll go on they bus (laughs) male will make sure we die (laughs) Together, she go. She ain't gonna move. Man, get caught up. Come back. <laughs> Man was squeezed and just be <laughs> with her eyes closed. I'm like, let's go. Let's. She would make sure. Man, I would have to probably knock her out, pick her and up, drag her, <laughs> and then let the see. Get her other leg. We can run it. <laughs> she drag her behind. <laughs> Man, she nah. intense, when she gets scared, boy, she gets scared. If, but uh. If money wasn't, oh, I ain't done. Oh, see? oh, oh okay. see, go ahead. See, 
No, nah, and then businesses like I will, I would want to open businesses that I enjoy, and even if I don't enjoy it, like, businesses that other people would enjoy. Oh, yeah. As I always said, if I had the option to open up a strip club, mm. I would open a male strip club because women spend more money. That's true. I'm like, bring them in, let them enjoy themselves. They will come and throw rolls of money versus who the would they audition for? Who the dudes in front of women? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take I just own like, it. I come, in, come in, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah. All right, What's your stage it. name? Drop your pants. Tripod, huh? Oh, whoa. Oh, put them up. Uh, you good. Next. Tripod. <laughs> Next. What's your name? Oh, man. Do some crunches. Holler at me next week. Next. <laughs> nah, I'm not involved uh, in that. I just own woo. it. Uh, but it would be successful. I know it would. What would you do? <laughs> what would you be doing? It wouldn't be the only thing. Not just strip clubs, but <laughs> restaurants, everything, man. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, if I open up a business. <laughs> Wait, a what? male strip club. <laughs> a male strip club. Zip this man says, zip. Hey, 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 put it up. Roll it back up, man. We, it's too much. I, I said, what's your name? That's our last one. <laughs> Dang, I ain't even thought about no male strip club, but yes. Um, so you'd be yeah. like, hey, yeah, let me go in, let me <laughs> solid part in the tank. <laughs> Got to be a solid part. <laughs> um, whoo, this man here, strip, male strip club. Hey, okay. Bring it in racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite sure them boys mm -hmm. and women spend the money them boys be making that money. Yeah. Um, uh, Oh yeah, if money wasn't the issue, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I I would open up businesses. I would um, set everybody in the family straight. You know, put mm -hmm. them on something, and it would probably be a business and let them work it. Whatever yeah. they want to do, let them work Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, get a trust and make sure the trust is feeding the family or distributing money when I'm gone. To everybody, like the uh, Rockefellers. Yeah. Um, but what type of bit businesses I think I would open? It would be uh, like hotels, amusement parks, um, uh, hospitals. Man, a hospital. Hospitals yep. and prisons. I always pull in money. Yep. And I make <laughs> sure I make sure schooling, schooling wise, we open up a uh prestigious black college mm -hmm. teaching us all type of stuff we need to know coding because we don't code like that we uh -huh. need to take technology I know. like I, that the coding coders if that's what you call them that i do know are all black but it's still a oh, we still not in the field yeah, like yeah. that we're not in the field nah. you probably need to introduce me into uh to one of them because i'm looking into coding focus on on just two things I, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, it'll be. I would like to do tech companies, travel, and uh, ensure that the family's good. If if money wasn't the issue, yeah, it'd be. I would probably be two hundred pounds heavier though, because I got a sweet tooth. Man, I'd be eating all type of stuff. <laughs> it always shocks me. I can't do. You, you eat the sweets that like, you, cause you like hard candy, right? Nah. Oh, you I don't. Like, oh, okay. When my sweets are like. Cookies and cream milkshakes. Man, um, ain't nothing like some cookie dough. God dang. Cookie yes. dough ice cream. Cookie dough man, ice cream. Man, take that to the vein. Give me the IV. Just skip <laughs> skip the middle, man. I'm, put I'm, it in my put it in my body. <laughs> I, could, I could be on a good diet for a hundred days. I give it all up. You know what I was tearing up? One of the reasons I couldn't stay vegan in June is at Rouse, they got these uh Ice cream bites mm. is like in a package. It's little balls of ice cream, mm -hmm. and they got vegan cookie dough. Oh man, the man! I said, man, give me man. Who, when does this get shipped in? Just put the pallet on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's vegan. I was tearing that, things up, man. <laughs> that's a business like cookie cookies, ice cream, donuts. Man, you can just set up shop because even the healthiest person is gonna come at least once a month. Just What's hey, let me get uh, let me get one, and then these donut shops here in California that's on every block. I mean, folk just be racking up in there. Fat man. Burger got 
vegan shakes. And you can't tell the difference between a vegan shake and a real shake. Yeah, man. And my homegirl to know was like, what if all shakes are vegan and just nobody knows? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but my boy took me, he said, yeah, get one of these shakes. And I was like, you don't do dairy? He was like, no, nah, a uh, fat burger got vegan shake. I'm like, get out of here. We rode over, he got it. I said, man, give me that strawberry vegan shake. Man, give me a, pour this in a large one and give me a large, make it yeah. large. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they just, that vegan shake stuff, whatever, man. It's, I bet you it's more unhealthier. Is that is that the way you should say more that? Unhealthy. More, more unhealthier? No. Unhealthier? Take the E-R off. More, more unhealthy. Ah, more unhealthy than the, uh, Regular shit. It might be, but it was good. <clears throat> we be knowing, I be knowing, I be talking wrong. And he's like, is that how you say that? It don't matter. Doing... <laughs> <laughs> What's your next one? Was that mine? That was mine. Right? Oh, no, I picked it also, but you you said it first. Um, what you be doing, money? What are your thoughts on porn? It saved marriages, man. <laughs> yeah. It saved marriage. I'm telling you right now, porn is a tool to be used okay don't don't overwork it it's just like any tool you, you use it to it's going up breaking or you know you, <laughs> you just something, use gonna, it. something gonna go wrong gonna break don't abuse it <laughs> but it's it's a nice tool i, I done told y'all already tap your cucumber sometimes you know sometimes you need a little help turn your, your thumper Turning your your noodle into a cucumber. Yeah, yeah you, got, <laughs> you got to do it because that urge gets strong, and sometimes you got to rub something out, thump something out, and you're good to go. It keeps you in your place. You don't go out looking uh, for trouble when when you satisfy yourself. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a uh, it can be a, a so to speak necessary evil. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it ain't. It's like it's not something that like I I've seen people. I've heard people talk. They can they be getting addicted to it. But I'm like, I've, I actually know people that are in relationships, and one of them was addicted to porn. I'm like, I don't know. I, that couldn't happen to me if I got it available. If I got the cheeks available right here, I ain't mm -hmm. gonna get addicted to. The digital version. <laughs> I take the real version over here, the hard copy. I don't. The, I don't want the digital version. <laughs> but the addiction, I think, comes from because I watch it. Comes from the women, or the 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 type of sex that's going on. Because some things these porn folk be doing, your old lady ain't about to do, and you ain't even gonna think about doing. And to they your probably old lady. don't do when they personal no, life no, they, no, they don't they just doing it for the yeah. show or whatever but um yeah now yeah yeah they just they do it obviously for the show but if yeah. somebody's addicted to it and they they want their partner to do something like that and they're like they don't even know how to approach yeah their i can only on it. i can only imagine being addicted to porn dilutes the real version of having sex because you now you got these visuals in your head of mm. something that ain't that yeah you got all these other visuals in your head it's like what does that do to you mentally when it comes time true because the person you might not even find your partners as sexy now. yeah because it's so much porn you can dial it down to exactly what you want or what you fantasize about and that's yep. what you're watching yeah and if that fantasy is not reality then what's it doing to your mind yeah it, so it, it, yeah. goose I, regulate I, how much porn you watching okay oh it helps me out though <laughs> that's it, what they all say at first yeah i want to know what a I, hell of a drug <laughs> <laughs> man this is this is good understand me now you if you if you rub one out right in the morning or whatever later on when you when you with your old lady and y'all get into it you're gonna last longer that's it. I last longer because I don't rub one out, and I'm not just so excited now. I'm like, yeah, I got this, and I go longer. That's that's it helps me out in that way. Just a little, you know, a little, a little, uh, drop a little, a little nugget. nugget in your bucket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you have issues 
holding out and you know busting fast you might need to rub one out before you get into it what if he can't get back up after you rub it with the, now don't do it right before now you got to, you got to do it give yourself some hours i ain't in the bathroom Ugh. all right, all right come on i'm ready my jump like Ooh. oh man be slack wake up Nah, don't do it right before, man. Give yourself some hours. Uh, well, I guess women don't. I don't know. Do women? Do women? Women? Do you have issues getting revved up for oh, your yeah. mate? I'm just saying, like, usually, uh, uh, for men, it's it's men oral fingering or whatever, you know, to get their wives rubbing, doing whatever to get their wives revved up is do women do y'all prep for it before it happens i or? think a lot of it's mental for them oh okay it's like uh my angel tells me well a long time ago she told me foreplay don't start in the bedroom foreplay starts earlier in the day mm. like the compliments the touching the rubbing mm. and then by the time that night comes you know she like the little the, the kitty's purring loud it's like hey Mm. Come on to it versus approaching something if she ain't mentally there or you know her mind just ain't on it and try to get something in and just like it ain't the same for him. Mm. Well, I, granted we got a physical member to get blood into and erect it, but erect, but you know women they they definitely need that stimulation. But that's like you're you're doing the foreplay as if you know. I'm at home with you all day or I'm not at, you know, what happens when I'm at work, you're at work, right? We both get home, whoever cooks dinner, put the kids away. Where was the, for, where? It was not necessarily needed every time, I'm saying. But what, that's what you saying? the time, that time where the foreplay and the little touchy situations aren't happening. You're lying in bed and your husband just, hey, or your boyfriend, hey, what's up, what's up? Are you ready? Does it does it click on? You tell us. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I know what happened with me. I'm talking about with women. Oh, <laughs> at that point, you know, is there something? Is there something women do to get themselves ready, or is it always, hey man, you got to go down there and you know do your thing, or or what? Warm things up. Warm things up, because we can think and it don't whoop. take much for us yeah, yeah. women do, can you just think of something and it it just happens that's that's my question that's my uh question. all right i'm gonna move on to the next question what's more important what was that question anyway how did we get there porn oh uh what's more oh that was my question you go it was. <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> 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 uh, okay Oh, uh, this is um, ah. Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think you'll be able to protect all the kids and family? Yeah. Yeah. I'm set up. You set up? Yeah. Not that I'm like, oh, here come the zombie apocalypse, but I think uh, now it depends on the zombies. Yes, it <laughs> them does. twenty eight day later and twenty eight month later zombies. Yeah, ain't nobody surviving that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or if we that do survive world, it, everybody ain't gonna make it. World War Z zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody ain't making it. No. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be down. It's gonna come up, come down to me, and whoever can survive with me. Yeah, if the kids. If Angel don't make it or the kids, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now, if it's like the Walking Dead, the you know Night of the Living De Dead Zombies, oh yeah, we good. Yeah. Okay. We good, friends is good. Y'all come on by. I don't, yeah, we good. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing catch in the front yard. Yeah, if, if it's those yeah. zombies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good throw. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm surviving those zombies. But like yeah. you said, the uh, have target practice from the roof. Just, I'm <laughs> legend. I don't know if you call them zombies. Nah, but they them type they things, something else. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. We're not surviving that because I can only run, but so fast yeah, with, you with my babies yeah. in my hand. 
You can only yeah. run so fast. You only got so many weapons you can use at a time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I'm good on the pot. The the zombie. Zombies. Yeah, like it depends on the zombies, but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. What? All right, here's one. What's more important, science or art? Science. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Why? Why you say science? I say science because science is how things, how you figure out how things are created, work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, shoot, science. Uh, if you eat this plant and you die, this plant might cure you. How does that work? Why does that? Yeah. Why does this plant fight against that plant? Uh, why shouldn't yeah. you eat this plant? You know? Yeah, I agree. Like science is fact, art is expression. Yeah. Um, then you need expression, but science is, like I said, that's fact. That's actually before I think before Christianity, science and religion was one and the same. I can believe it until actually, and before Christianity was uh, taken from ancient <laughs> from mm -hmm. ancient Kemet and then you know transferred into what it is today, science and religion was all the same throughout our religions. It was all it was always one of the same then they switched it up in europe uh <laughs> christianity up once they got to europe um but yeah no so I, like i said art is expression science is fact um that's how i understand it when i compare the two um art is not a necessity mm. for a society to survive it's a necessity for a uh, society to have history you know they usually express the hist history through art hieroglyphics and cave carvings and stuff that's art However, the science is, you know, how you maintain and have a sil 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 civilization. Civilization survive. <laughs> I couldn't get that out. I ain't about to help you. Oh, uh, yeah. I, was, no, I was almost had a stroke. Uh, so, yeah. No, nah, definitely. <laughs> I would say science over art. Yeah, science for sure. Because science, you need to be taught science. You learn lessons from science. Art, like you said, I think everybody has it in them it's just something that naturally happens with your expression you know expressing yourself yeah. my question is what's something trivial that you always lie about something trivial i always lie about um I'm trying to think what do i lie about and what do i lie about that's trivial i have no that's a good one ah, i got mine what's yours I always lie about farting. <laughs> always. What was that? I don't know. I what know. was it? <laughs> My little was baby that? was like, what was that noise, baby? I don't know. Who was that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Get it in your lungs. Take a big whiff. <laughs> oh, man. Since I was a kid in school. What was that? I don't, I don't know what that is. Trivial. I don't know why I'd be lying. Wife's be lying right there next to me. Feels the vibration. Was that you? Ain't nobody nope. in there with y'all. Nope. That wasn't me. I don't know what that was. <laughs> What's something trivial that I lie about? Uh. Oh, I got one. And it's not even a lie. It's just, it's a thing. So when I was in school, we used to do this thing. We'd tell the, anybody talking. It could be a teacher, principal, somebody, you know, talking or reading. We'd be like, shut up, B. But we'd say the actual term, but we wouldn't say it. We would say it to where only the class we only knew. We'd be like, sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right? So there was this one dude in our class that couldn't do it right. Uh, he would be like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he would always get in trouble oh, every time, man. right? Because, like, the principal, the, like, I don't know, we had a teacher. She, you know, the pre teacher, he'd be up there talking, you know, something, something, something. You just hear somebody in the back, sure. You know, mm. <laughs> so now I told Angelette, and when I imitate the dude doing it, she cries every yeah. time, right? So now when Angel's talking, I just be like, <laughs> she be talking, I just be like, Ooh. she be like, no, you shut up. And nobody ever hears nobody. me say yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and she be like, no, I'm like, Angel, why, why you talk to me oh, like that, that right? Trivial. <laughs> she be like, shut up, punk. I heard. I'm like, Angel, I didn't say nothing. What are you I'm talking like, about? <laughs> <laughs> Next time around, y'all, yeah, I'll be like, shut up, shut up, bill, bill, bill. To this day, I'm in my four. I'm forty. Yeah, man. If I go to Lexington, Kentucky, and yell in the mall, shoot, 
I guarantee you somebody's <laughs> gonna bust out laughing. <laughs> Class of 2002. I mean, it would be, we would have like an assembly in the gym. Yeah. It'd be dead silent. And somebody saying something, principal saying something up front. You just hear somebody in the back corner, shoot. <laughs> oh, hey, yo. hey, and, that, and lose control of the whole. <laughs> 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 the friend that didn't know how to do it. He just stand every, up. Shoot. Like, <laughs> every time. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude. He would get he in might, trouble every might, single time. He might have been a little slow, though. <laughs> Understand. Oh, so that's something trivial. I'll be lying about to Angel. Like, oh, man. You should, Angel, what are you talking about? Then she tried to explain it to people. I'm like, hey, why would I say that? None of this makes sense. <laughs> I'm using it. <laughs> I can only use it on Angel, but I'm using it. That's fine. Oh, and she's going to tell you right back. You shut up, B. I'm like, that, that wasn't me. All right. Uh, hold on. I had a good one. What's your favorite pickup line? Do we use that one? Hey, friend. Hey, friend. <laughs> I got a pickup it line. It just, it's not even a pickup. Yeah. Man. It's just, you got Let me scratch that one. Friend. Let me scratch that one. Hey, Miss Lady. Uh, do you have any go-to flirting techniques or moves? Go-to flirty techniques or moves? Yeah. Mm, flirty techniques. Or flirting. Flirting techniques. Uh been so long but if i'm flirting with my wife it's uh -huh. always the 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 soft touch on the back and then instead of like just removing my hand from the back like just like the fingers rub across the booty cheek mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying just like just so softly mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's that's my way of doing a little flirt and then we might lock eyes like yeah <laughs> That's one thing about America. We could lock eyes 100 feet away. She you know yeah. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mine's similar, except I just walk up and squeeze the butt cheek. Squeeze and ever so slightly lift a little bit. <laughs> but I then Angel every, likes my lips, so I'll just, I'll just like softly like kiss her. Just. Yeah. I think everybody know that about you and Angel. They was like, Angel might grip your ass back. Nah, I don't play Come that. On. You don't play mm -mm. She be trying. She do be trying. Yeah. I'm like, nah, back up. I don't know what it is. I got I got one. This will be our last one. All right. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? <laughs> What's your man. What's your favorite one? Man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly believe y'all there's some type of base or living sil whatever civilization civilization mm -hmm. I don't know why I can't say a word today uh, civilization civilization the V yes, comes first it does civilization yes <laughs> in Antarctica underneath the ice I, I think there's a a uh what what do you call it a portal a um what in the movies they be having it's it's a portal like a gateway to another gateway. dimension or something it's a it's a <laughs> it's a a, a a wormhole why though why yeah i give you my reasons <laughs> i got to hear this okay you're not allowed to fly over certain parts of Antarctica like you can't go it's just for like you you're not allowed whether it's your own plane your own you're spending your own money you're risking your own life they will not allow you to go how do you know now because it's documented now if you attempt to go they will jets the U.S. Army jets, top flight security will come. I'll let you know now. I know. And be like, turn around or we're shooting you down. They use that same as that boy. Turn around or we're shooting you down. I know there was no uh, you can, military base in Antarctica. Oh, you didn't know, huh? <laughs> yeah. See, y'all y'all be. Look. Y'all wonder why I was talking about this fool's <laughs> algorithm on his phone. Hey, man. I should have never asked this question. <laughs> hey, think about it. Why is Why can't you 
go in certain parts of Antarctica. They won't allow. It's no fly zone. Period. You ain't. It's it's not like they're saying, hey, don't fly over here because it's the Pentagon. Don't fly over because it's it's this. This is over here. This is why you, it's a no fly zone. They don't give you any reason. <laughs> they're just like, don't show up over here. Then you have U.S. Army <laughs> fighting pl- fighter pilots that fly over and say. Man, we've seen some crazy stuff below us. Objects moving this way, that way, faster than our jets. <laughs> hey, man, we're not alone. We're being monitored by somebody. All right, X Files. What's uh, yours, man? Am <laughs> mine? <laughs> um, I'm not Sasquatch. a really, I'm not a conspiracy theory. That's fake. I'm not a conspiracy theory person, but the one that I find the most hilarious is the flat earth. Ah. That I will laugh at people and debunk any type of fact that they try to come at me with every single time. I the, it, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to think about the flat earth. There is no flat earth. <laughs> it's like <laughs> We had, we had a I, there's no it does not how listen man oh my god I shouldn't have brought this up what <laughs> listen <laughs> what I don't know if there's a flat Earth or I not. do there's but, not <laughs> but the this the, let this lets me know there is no no fly zone the in Antarctica. images <laughs> the images that people post right and people say this is the Earth it's almost um. Uh, okay, let me get off that. <laughs> this is why I'm like, they could be lying about anything. There's a video of these astronauts in <laughs> in space, uh-huh. in space, and they're all floating, right? <laughs> and then one of the astronauts come from the back, and they're like just regularly walking on the on the ground. Didn't realize they were being filmed. <laughs> The girl just come in walking, and everybody else like, <laughs> yeah, the green every- screen. <laughs> oh, everybody- girls like y'all, are y'all done yet? Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> everybody else like, and she she walked back by, walk- <laughs> she walks out of the camera view. So I'm mm-hmm. like, hold up, hold the hold up. Is it are Where you are all they in space? At? Are you in space or are you in this in a simulation thing? What? Why is this like this? And then, hold up. Man, hey, there's this there's this astronaut story of these astronauts making it to outer space. And on the way back in, the ship uh, explodes and all of the astronauts die or whatever. Come to find out, these half of the astronauts are still living. They can't find some of them. But the ones they found, one of them is just straight up. Like, no, that's not me. No, that's not me. This is like documented. You can look this up. Uh, I can't remember. But if you if you Google, <laughs> if you Google this, you it'll come up. There were like five astronauts. Three of the astronauts say they were identical twins. Their identical twin died in the the All come right. on. Can I get back to my flat earth thing? How many twins have you ever been in one place together with? <laughs> I, all the time. Let's take a tuck. There's a bunch of twins. <laughs> but three sets and they all astronauts. Back to what I was saying. Hell, man. These flat earth people. Uh, <laughs> fingers pointing the goose. <laughs> all right. You know anything about planetary creation, mm. if you want to call it that, or uh science science Mm -hmm. you will know that magnetic forms do not form form a flat surface Mm. gravity is what holds us to the planet it's a gravitational pull which is a form of a magnet okay anything out of space will mimic what's here on earth like if you take a handful of water and throw it up in the air every all the water pellets are going to turn into balls Mm -hmm. why and the fact that you can get a boat and sail around the world, ain't nobody 
turning, getting turned back toward the edge. Like it's like you got cruise ships that you can go on a luxury cruise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you, what's it called? Norwegian cruise mm-hmm. and ship all the way around the world. I just don't understand where the whole flat earth thing came from. Like it, it makes absolutely no sense to me. The fact you can get a telescope. The fact that our entire solar system is made up of balls of planets, why would ours be the only one that's not a ball? (laughs) You can see it. No, no. When you see telescope, when you see planets through your telescope, Uh they don't look round. They're just a so it's a circle. They're just a circle facing us. So that's what it is. I don't know. (laughs) That makes no (laughs) sense. Okay. Here's my other. Okay. Here's the other thing. This is how this makes no sense. My dad got this extremely powerful telescope. Mm -hmm. We was looking out through it one time, and I'm looking. He was like, do you see that? I'm looking. I'm like, yeah. He said, what's it look like? I said, I know it's Saturn. He was like, how you know it's Saturn? I said, because it looks like a ball with ears, because Saturn has rings. Mm -hmm. I could see a two-dimensional shape, the ball, and I could see the hoops on both sides. Mm -hmm. So as I'm sitting there looking, he said, keep looking. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. zoomed in. I counted seven moons orbiting Saturn. Mm. What shape out of hell is flat that has two ears on it with other shapes that are flat? So you're telling me there's a bunch of discs out in space flat that are never, they never go sideways. (laughs) The disc never goes horizontal to where you can't see it. No, look. (laughs) <laughs> he could be lying too. I don't know. I'm not. You can get. You can go but get you a telescope and look at planets. We're not talking about Saturn. We're not talking about Mars. Jupiter. We're talking about planet. I Earth. can see Jupiter. We're exactly. Why? Earth. Why would Earth exist in a solar system and be the only flat object in the entire solar system? I don't know, man. Diversity, man. It's not diversity. It's, it's the diverse. only one. Planet. So it's, the sun is the sun, sir. Is it? Is it a uh, flat too? I don't know. I haven't I haven't ever seen the sun for myself. All I'm saying is if somebody lies to me, if I find out you're lying to me, but that everything was one person else that lied. everything else you say and everything else that comes out your mouth, I have to question. So, so now that now that this you're in space uh-huh. and everybody's floating and you make a mistake and walk in. All right. And there's no gravity so, and then you uh have people that died on this space shuttle that ain't died on the space shuttle. So, Hold up. What so are y'all this telling is me? So, so then this, you admit so the first is, man on the moon wasn't the first man on okay, the moon. Okay, so anybody, what's his name? What's the actor's name that said he he was seeking revenge on black men? Actor. Uh, the, uh, I have a special set of skills, and these skills will get you back. Taken, his family always gets taken in every movie. His family, somebody in his family or one of his friends got robbed or something by a black man. He was going mm. out seeking revenge on all black men. So that means he was justified because one black dude did mm. something to one of his friends. So that means all black men is liars, liars and rapists and, and attacking people. That's what you're saying right now. You've seen a couple of videos that people made and they lied in those videos. So now everything is a lie that you see on space. <laughs> I wouldn't say they lied on the videos. But whose videos are these? These are like documented situations. Like you can look <laughs> up these astronauts that died <laughs> and they have right. and you the can fact, go see them the you in get, person. The fact that you can yourself right now uh-huh. can go on a website and order a weather balloon, mm. put a GoPro on it, yep. send it up yep. to a point to where it pops and it comes back down. And the image that you get from your own camera is a circle, is a, a sphere. Now, I haven't I haven't <laughs> seen something like that. Have you, you seen? Yes. So now you believe in the videos you're telling me not to believe in. There's too many videos proving. There, I have science. I just have science that proves that the earth is not flat. It's this is what I mean by it's hilarious. <laughs> so same, same thing. So why haven't somebody flown one of oh their drones God. over Antarctica? I don't. I, I've never heard of this. I, you, you I've never, never heard of that? not being able to fly over Antarctica at yeah, all. Okay. Okay. There is. You can go on Google Earth and look at Antarctica right now. Ah, look him on Google Earth. I don't know if you ever saw one of those. Um, it was one of those drug specials. But <laughs> no, listen. 
<laughs> this man, he think I'm tripping. <laughs> you are no, there was a. I want to say one of those theories, theories. Period. One of those I drug smugglers. Uh huh. They got in touch with the um the whoever was over imaging of, of their ever of their area. They planted thousands of mar marijuana plants. Mm -hmm. Thousands of them. They took a picture. When the when the image when the uh, plants weren't there, and they kept that image instead of the proper image. So for years, they were just grow matter of fact, it was on that TV show, but it happened in real life. And uh -huh. then somebody physically went out there and was like, "There's thousands those, of plants," but because they were using are, Google those, Earth. Those images are old. If you look up my house that I sold four years ago, my truck is still parked out front. So, so what are you talking? You can't use Google Earth. So the military base on <laughs> Antarctica was built within the past three, four years. I don't know. Ain't nobody seen it. <laughs> exactly. Ain't nobody seen this shit. <laughs> you saw a video talking about it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> People what? have seen. This is what, what? I'm saying. No. I, wait, wait. We are subject. Co I said my favorite conspiracy theory. Correction. Is, is, a, is, is flat earth. It's yes. not real. I've seen too many images of a disc shaped earth and I have too much evidence that this earth is round. Okay. Just by flight plans alone. So from maps and other not even maps. But okay. what I'm saying is if there was a map time like, zones. Oh, this time is, zones. This is perfect for you. It's not perfect because we way over time, but time zones alone. If you look at a map, perfect. Why if you look is at a, Africa so small on our map? Because that's how they purposefully made it. To do what? To make the app more symmetric. Everybody knows that Africa is the biggest continent. Don't know everybody. Everybody you think knows Russia that. is the way they no, got it. No, I don't. I know it's not real. Everybody else thinks <laughs> Russia is huge compared to Africa because yeah. they want you to think. No, they don't. Everybody Africa don't think that. Africa is smaller. Everybody don't think that, man. I guarantee you everybody think. Then why not put the darn map <laughs> because the, right, the, because the, if the they, right size? If they did that, okay, what the would globe. Happen? The globe that you look at, that you can go to the store and buy, mm -hmm. they did that to make everything symmetrical. There's too much proof out there. You can go and get square miles, and you can see, you can do the calculation yourself of just looking up the width of Africa and the width, the width of Eurasia and know that it's much smaller. Hey, Europe and Russia and Asia and all that is the same size as the United States. Everybody, people know that. That's people, not, people that's don't not know a that. secret. People that's not, not a secret, Goose. People don't know that. Okay. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm getting there. Y'all see my co host, see what I'm dealing with. <laughs> He's hey, that's why I say we need to change believe his algorithm. everything you hear now. I didn't say you got to believe everything you hear at yeah. all. But the, the outlandish stuff, sometimes it's best to ignore it. I got to see <laughs> I got to see the earth for myself. So you believe it's flat before you believe that it's round? I believe we've been deceived. That's so you don't I know mean. what to believe? And it, no, I don't. I don't know what to believe. All right. I Thank y'all for tuning in, family. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you'll be back next week <laughs> for another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanks. You can find me on Instagram at Marcus and on the Gram. <laughs> Facebook, Marcus and on the Book. You can find my beard and body butter called Man Shit. That's M A N S H Y T dot com. You can go to the website, check that out. Goose. Uh, you can catch me on IG, uh, G O O L Z B Y. And then you can catch me on YouTube, Building with Goose. And you can go to my uh, website, underreptmerch.com. Get yourself a crew neck. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Please share this. <laughs> yeah, share it. We all need to see what's really going on out here in these streets. <laughs> all right, fam. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>